always your lights in the right direction. Okay? You just have to make sure you have the spirit of discernment that your spirit is not being poisoned by a fraud, something fake, something phony, something that's not right. So in that, you got to push your, plant your feet down, okay? Four, notice your entire body and the feeling of gravity flowing through your head, spine, and legs into your feet. So as you're pushing that bad force down, you're feeling that light force come up. And it should go up like a pyramid. And you should feel it spread through your body. Okay? Now, five. Now, look around and notice what you can see and hear around you. Notice where you are and what you're doing. Notice that good, illuminated, light feeling. Do you feel that air? It's crisp. It's clean. You feel those lungs. You're breathing. You're feeling that namaste, that agape love. You're feeling that moment, that mantra, okay? Then, we're going to notice those five things. This is yet another simple exercise to center yourself and engage with your environment. Practice it throughout the day, the evening, especially anytime you find yourself getting caught up in your thoughts and your feelings. Because part of that is, even through a pandemic epidemic, a lot of the times we get caught up in the triggers or the things that bother us or bring us down and poison our spirit, just like bad air or a, a bad acquaintance or things that don't breathe life into you. You want to, as I'm doing it right now, breathe life into yourself. Gather that light air. Gather that illuminated spirit and let it come inside of you. Okay? Finally, one, pause for a moment. Two, look around and notice five things you can see. Three, listen clear carefully and notice five things that you can hear. Then four, notice five things that you can feel in contact with your body. For example, the watch against your wrist. Making sure you're timed. Time's up. Me too. Are you feeling a good feeling? Or do you feel that time's up? Me too. I need to get rid of those poisonous spirits, those demonic spirits, the things that are weighing me down. Then your trousers or your dress against your legs. The air on your face. Just like you when you feel rain droplets. They are dropping against your face. And you feel that crisp rain air. You know, it's cleansing your soul. Okay, your feet upon the floor, you back against the chair that you're sitting on, or if you're sitting up on a mat, you're feeling your back straighten up, and you feel like a lion at the top of its peak, and you feel that roar of light, and that aura of light coming through you, and that's what you should feel at all times, and when you don't practice this same exercise each time to be present, Okay, five, finally, do all the above simultaneously. So the next exercises that we'll do in the next session will be inform informal mindfulness practice. Because part of this is getting it into a routine. And part of that is we have to learn how to be present before we become mindful. And that is not being distracted, poisoning your spirit, and not having the capability to be present in the here and now and not living in the past because part of that is another lesson that we want to go over here and the reason why I have this the way I have it is there's lessons in life there's lessons in living and there's lessons in being present and part of that is learning the things that put energy into you things that otherwise don't grow you let them go and then finding ways to go and light up your life grow yourself mentally emotionally a part of that is having gratitude in the here and now and present okay so we're going to do this as another pick me up here and that is on this day month and year how is my day then I'm going to score my day as I start this documentation of a journey and a journal as to how I'm going to be present in my life. The progress of today. And learning when to pat yourself on the back. What did you do today that required courage? 
What positive choice did you make consistent with who you want to become? However small, write it here and be present in that. Pat yourself on the back. So let's go ahead and write. So we picked out three things, right? So in those three things, pat yourself on the back if you took time to take a nap, if you took time to self-care, if you took time to look into something someone else does, mirror that, don't steal it, but mirror that, make something of your own, then own that, and then start honing your own thing, and start patting yourself on the back for being able to get there. Because it's just like my old school alma mater. You can get there from here. But it takes small steps. And in that, being present is a small step. Okay? And that's part of the paradigms of coaching and part of the I am abundance mindset. And in that I am mindset, it you start out with I am grateful. I am mindful. I am abundant that I will grow. I am going to be present. Do you see where that starts off at? And you're feeling that inner enlightenment as you go. And train yourself to that. Then you think to yourself, what have I learned? When you ask yourself this, what did I learn about myself today? What did what inspired me today? Goals and intentions. What actions, thoughts, or steps did you take today that move you towards your goals? or intentions whether it's a small step baby step or another step in the right direction and if you fail that's fine it's not a perfect science it's not an exact science and it's not easy okay then say to yourself what if anything triggered me today if something triggered you today it's fine we all get triggered by something but don't let that own you you just have to get to that point you grab a hold of that and you say to yourself Today, it triggered me. Tomorrow, it will not. I will not let that break me. Where do I need to be kinder to myself? Where could you have been kinder to yourself in that? And therefore, happier and more productive. Because you're your own worst critic. And sometimes we have that critter brain or we have that inner gremlin that gets in our head. And it's just like that movie Gremlins. And you add water to it, it grows. You don't want it to multiply. You want it to undo all those inner critters in your brain that criticize or, or cause you to elevate that trigger or someone trying to trigger you. Because there are people in this world that are going to be plenty critical of you in your lifetime. But in your lifetime, do not allow that to define you or set the pentameter of who you are or what you're going to be. And you have to be in that abundance mindset, that I am mindset, that I am above my personal triggers or outside triggers. Because there are plenty of people who are set like that who are going to be every bit of what does doesn't elevate you or illuminate you but it will cause you that major downfall in that undo that give that heavy punch drop that heavy weight take that heavy anchor and that anvil and drop it on those that trigger you and then move on from it okay then look after you and then when we go to the next section, we think about gratitude and appreciation. Name three things you are grateful for and appreciate it today. Essential to when you have standards, whether they're low or high, make sure your standards are something that you can get to and you can say, I'm grateful for this. Like, I'm grateful for my food today. I'm grateful for a roof over my head. I'm grateful for my home office or I'm grateful for my office in the building or I'm grateful for business I am grateful for my I am mindset my abundance mindset I am grateful for my eternal circle and my tribe of people who breathe life into me otherwise when you think about those that don't breathe life into you those frauds those heavyweights those those people that poison your spirit or your air or want to own you but don't want you to elevate past what they have set for you or don't want you to heal and recover you have to get past that and knock that down and say to yourself i'm going to move forward in my light in my enlightenment in my i am mindset and my destination motivation mindset above all things you have to have that light in your heart in your mind and in your spirit and move forth with one small step okay then you think to yourself a or b how's my day 
the score for my day as I complete this journal is either positive 5 or negative 5 as your day went. Hopefully you'll be on the positive side. If not, you're on the negative side. And then start working your way down. What is the difference in your scores from start to finish? And if they're more negative than positive, then try to flip that upside down and start becoming more positive than negative. And it takes time. And then at the final part of this is what else do I want to make note of here? Anything else you may want to record or make note of, things you noticed that you reflected on, and it takes a lot of self-reflection or mirroring what you're doing and sitting down, where am I going wrong, but not overly criticizing yourself, but being able to go and be present in that, being able to get there from here and saying to yourself, I'll improve that tomorrow. Rome wasn't built in a day and your mindset wasn't built in one day. So you're going to have to undo that day by day. So with that, what do you want to do differently tomorrow, etc. So we're going to close out this with a good mantra and a, a, a peaceful mindset and an illuminated mindset and I am abundance mindset and paradigms of team world online coaching and be able to get ourselves there from here and in a destination motivation mindset so you all have a good night